Now in the first part of the question then, we've got to sketch y equals sine of x plus pi upon 6 for x going between 0 and 2 pi. And to do anything like this, what I would do is essentially work from a base graph. And that base graph would be the graph of y equals sine x. Or if I was to say y equals f of x, which in turn is the graph of sine x. Now, in order to draw this one, what I'm doing is I'm replacing the x with x plus pi upon 6. In other words, I'm looking now at the graph of f of x plus pi upon 6. Now, what would this do to any graph? Well, we should know that when you add a value inside the bracket here, it effectively translates the graph, this number of units, in this case pi upon 6 units, to the left, parallel to the x-axis. So if we take the standard graph of sine x, which is this one, and then all we need to do is just grab hold of it and shift it pi upon 6 units to the left. So if I just slide it across, say something like that, then essentially we've got the new graph. Now we're asked to draw it between 0 and 2 pi, so this part of the graph won't be needed anymore, so we could just take that part out. Okay, So there you go. We've got the graph then of y equals sine of x plus pi upon 6 based on the graph of y equals sine x, where we just shift it to the left pi upon 6 units.